In case you don't recognize them, they're silkworms and the leaves are from specially grown mulberry trees. It's down at Lullingston Castle, Kent, where Britain's leading silk farm flourishes. All good silkworms have to be carefully fed, so just watch this one. The object is to encourage them to spin their cocoons and each will spin over two miles of unbroken silk thread round itself for protection whilst changing into a moth. But if allowed to change first into chrysalis, then into moth, the moth will eject a liquid which will rot the silken cocoon. So they're stifled in an oven at a temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. The farm was started by Zoe, Lady Hart Dyke, in 1932 in order to encourage sericulture, as it's called in England. And now it's time to start collecting the silk. An average of nearly half a mile will be the final yield obtained from each. Half a mile of beautiful silken thread. Patience and perseverance, runs an Eastern proverb, turn mulberry leaves into the silken robes of a queen. In this case, the application is direct, for from this farm came the silk to make the coronation robes of Her Majesty the Queen, the two princesses, and many peers and peeresses. Patience indeed, plus experience, skill, and enthusiasm have built up a sound, unusual, and fascinating industry. <laughs>